until she looks lost. Alright, that woman just said like a 200 times, 100 times that we, that we will talk at this time. Um, alright. Alright. Hey, buddy. Oh my god, these drums, yo. Hello, it's heavy type. Oh, he's drunk. Right then, let's play it. What's he doing here? Would you mind um, talking to someone else? Just about this. Oh, shit. I'm gonna. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just having fun around here. What's this? Incorrect? Wait a minute. Or not. Okay. Nice. Interesting. It's a good day to be one of our mother's children. What's interesting? Eating a hand? Aloy! Nice. It's you, isn't it? No, it's Over her here. mother. <laughs> I'm sorry to me, yo. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Okay. The monkey man. Nice, 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 nice. Alright. Which one's... Oh, that is this one. Alright. So he is another... Equip, alright. He is another guy who sells things and buys. Alright. Yeah. Just like that one. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about... Envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Two drugs to that. Now, did she just change the outfit in front of all the crowd right here? Because I don't see a bathroom or a restroom nearby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm so joyful today. I'm just going nuts. Oh my god, these are horrible. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. Jog! Get Let's down from there. there! Bad enough, you're drunk. Why do you Where have to go it? climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Nice. I like it. What an idiot he is. Every year this happens, every year. At least he's not trying to run a brave trail. Nice. Every year this happens. Same every thing year. over. Listen carefully now. At least he's not trying to run a brave trail. You'll have to tell this when I'm gone. All right, now what the hell? My mother's day. All life came 
are from all nothing. All right. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other. Oh, okay, cool going on. Nice. Embrace. Interesting. But some Everything is. I won't let the Karja faithless nice. stop me from enjoying the festival. What they harm can they do now? These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, All promised to serve them, to make them a new world. You were brave to come, girl. Better than one All Mother provided. Enjoy the festivities. A world of metal. Ah. Nice. I want to stand there for a half an hour and just hey, over here. The, oh, you're back here, traveler. Karst, what are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Why'd you come? So, Mother's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Okay, let's see All what sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. Right. Trip cat I I don't understand how to use this trip cat until now. Warbo. Sharpshooter. Um Which one guys? War bow or sharp shooter bow? Sharp sharp bow. Um ammo handling I don't understand these signs though. Go back. We don't have much of this. Let's just buy this. Yeah, yeah. All right, right then, time to go. Good luck tomorrow, Aloy. Yep. Quest menu. Sharp shot tutorial. Trip cash. Oh my god. I need this. Okay. Now where do we need to go? Anywhere at all? What's the object is? Trip cash. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner. Peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Avar. Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your God. fruit, nor, uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster, raided my tribe for blood sacrifice just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now. Who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! The message that this poor priest 
means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th kid. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad. 14th of the line. <clears throat> the oh my god, yo. No, I had, I mean, this game is so custom that I, I got a, I need like 500 times in a single video. What the hell? I'm on device to oh, okay. the card defense and stop me from enjoying your focus. Just like mine. Can we join your prayers? That they will stand oh. tall. I'm with High Matriarch Lambda. I shouldn't let those Karja outsiders pollute our sacred land. To be taken into your Yo, buddy. Embrace. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. <laughs> Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. Interesting. Quite speech, nice armor. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids, and who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. No shit, we're talking right now. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, Everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky, reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. He 
Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When I, so it was... But then the... Now, when a few more years... If that wasn't bad... Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten years... So what's making... Uh, no one... I just played it back to back, all right? I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Oh my god. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard are the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. We might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? 
All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Are you supposed to forget Yo, that cat just took like 10 to 15 minutes of the video. Oh my goodness, man. Such a big... Uh, I don't know. And that guy is suspicious. Damn. Anyway. Let's continue it. How am I supposed to enjoy myself?